What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Let's go up and talk to the master. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> so he is an old man. He has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Oh, look where are my manners. Please. Come in and have a look around. <laughs> the guy just floats on a giant ball of materia. Don't let Yuffie up here, so try and steal it. Devices piqued your curiosity. They are essential to my studies of the planet. You know anything about weapons? I never thought you could become even more. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. This. <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. I suspect it can't detect much now. It's probably detecting the amount of Mako I have on me. Lowering the baseline materials some. I should wait until I can craft them, probably. Craftsmanship 14. Safety bit thing. The 
lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. Probably see the meteor coming at the uh, the planet. Isn't that an event that happens here? telescope on the planet with it you can see to the edge of the galaxy there's no better view of the stars than through this scope <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning my apologies That's a weapon. That's the planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh, yes, that would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. You're about to learn some stuff that you had no fucking clue about, old man. Present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. It's only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. From its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. 
A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Guys, uh, here we seek to gather the wisdom. Kind of a dick. I mean, like, you know, on one hand, like, oh, well, he's just, you know, he's blunt. He's been around for a long time, but he almost has this, this, uh, I don't know. He almost has this vibe, like, oh no, everything that you don't know is just something you don't understand. I, I do know everything. You know, is, any, is anyone else getting that? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from him. Like, we brought up the weapons, and he's like, oh no, you, you just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's Thanks like, so much what? for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. If we have anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small. With whom we some weapons in here. I don't know why he's got Moogle medals in here. Five thousand gil, some Moogle medals.
Crystal Megaphone. That's right, I never got to... Well, I gotta go through the red one first. Or I can use the crystal one. If I keep going down the other direction, Blessings of the planet upon you. no, that's hmm. Uh, wait, flight of scholarship. Okay. Like I take that elevator and I go down a level. Wait, no. Where's the elevator at? It's back down there. No, hang on. I'm getting farther from it. Hold up. Right there. Hang on. How the fuck do I get to the elevator? I don't like the Cosmo Observatory anymore. Hang on. We got up here. We took the... Didn't we take the elevator up to talk to him initially? Seriously, what the hell? I'm super lost. When I go this way, I can see it. It's in the same elevation, but I would need to go down a step. An elevator in there? No, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, can I fast travel? Fast travel is currently unavailable. Not even within the town. Wait, I can within the town. Fuck, no I can't. I didn't come this way before, seriously. I don't know how the fuck to get back. Blessings of the planet upon you. I'm just gonna take this guy down. I don't remember running up this giant ass staircase before though. Maybe I did. Maybe I was just like, had my brain on autopilot. Well, this definitely looks like the right place. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? The seminar is in progress. I've, uh, always been on the bigger side, but... I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste. Me
What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it. Except beautiful, maybe? It was... A lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But... There was also conflict. A war... Between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean... We can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. elevator oh uh, no hang on and maybe I took that elevator before yeah let's try and take this one this time I guess Presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Yeah, these people are they they don't understand that like it's not just Did I sound as awkward as the I planets and like oh man. You did good. 
can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Like, oh, the planet will be fine. Like, no, no, the planet's quite literally, like, dying right now. It's under attack. There's a giant meteor hurtling this way. The planet will resolve. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong, but sitting here looking up at the sky. You kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Save the planet while polluting it with all those carbons. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, Something would remind me of what I was, and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. If I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
It is time. <sighs> Whoa. Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? Meteor. Probably what Meteor. You all think of the anyway, uh, we're going to wrap things up here. We will follow Old Man and find out what he has to show us in the next part. And I'll catch you then.